Hi guys, hope everyone is doing very well and welcome to my another fly vlog. Today topic, how to become a pilot in the UK, private pilot. I have been asked these questions on plenty of occasions, so I thought why not, let's do a vlog together based on my experience and advice which can be hopefully very useful for the people who are about to start their flight training or have just started one. So once you have decided that you would like to become a private pilot for a hobby, for passion or a first license towards your commercial training, please check out all the requirements required on CAA website I have linked below. So once you have read through all the requirements on a CAA website and now you're ready to start your training, my first step is to do a financial and affordability check. Flight training is very expensive and there is no secret around it. No matter which part of the world you are, it will be expensive and you will be paying based on hours. So do a good research on your local flight school or a college and aim yourself 20% on top of the actual budget because at some point due to the weather, due to any circumstances, you may have to revise a lesson and you will be paying more because in flight training you will be paying per hour unfortunately and the flight training cost is not fixed so it vary person to person situation to situation so please do a good research and aim yourself for 20% more than the actual flight cost because there is nothing worse than start a study or a program and then while you are trying to concentrate you are worried about financial cost and you may end up taking breaks and if you do take breaks it will only slow down your training and cost even more because the longer breaks you have between your flights the longer you need to get there uh, because you it's all about the skill the the competitive and the repetitive you are the sooner you get there Step number two, now you have checked your funds and affordability and now is the time for you to go to a local flight school, be up in the air and see that how actually it feels. Um, the first flight experience is very, very important and I highly recommend it. It gives you an idea that how actually it feels that to fly the aircraft and most importantly, it gives you an idea of the instructor you are flying with, uh, a full picture and the practical picture. So I highly recommend you before you commit to start your training, please, please, please go and do a local experience flight with one of the flight schools. So go check out few flight school. And once you check out flight school, check out their program, check out the cost because every flight school is different. Step three, very important medical requirement. According to CAA, you are required to have a bare minimum of class two medical if you are aiming just for the PPL license. Uh, in my case, I did class one. So if you are aiming to take your private pilot license to the next level of commercial, I highly recommend getting the class one medical out of the way at first. It will give you a peace of mind that you have all the requirements you need to go to the commercial. To get your medical, you will be required to go to a CA authorized AME where you will be able to get your class one and class two medicals. I have attached the link below for those requirements. So now you have got your medical and you are comfortable and ready to start your flight training. Step number four, you will be required to buy uh, gears and the books you require for your training. So I have listed down below all the gears you need to start your flight training and all the books you need to pass your all nine written exams. There is a lot of theoretical uh, study involved as well as flight training. So it's best if you start reading ahead of the game. So I have seen a lot of students, they, they try to fly first and while they are on 30% of their flight training, then they will go back and start opening books. I highly recommend to read and try to get ready for theoretical written exams as soon you start your flight training. Read as much as information as possible because once you are up there and flying, this old ground studies and theory will come handy. I promise you that. I have got all the cost breakdown together 
which can give you an idea. It is based on in the UK, so it may vary from country to country. However, it will give you an overall idea how much the books will cost, how much the flying gear will cost, and how much will be for a flight training per hour, exam fees, and radio exam fees, and all that. I hope you will find this information useful guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this video useful and if you did please leave the like and subscribe. It will really help the channel. Thank you very much and hope to see you in the next one.